Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now this is just a quick video to introduce you to PinOS. Now picture this, wouldn't it be amazing if you could switch between operating systems with your Raspberry Pi on the fly? Just imagine having multiple operating systems available at your fingertips. You could use a full desktop OS like Ubuntu Mate, and then still be able to get high video performance by booting into your Liberlec OS. Now this is what having a smart bootloader like Pin or Noobs lets you do. But PinOS differs from Noobs. Firstly, it's got a load more OS variants you can install from it, and it's got a load of more features than noobs. Things like reinstallation, replacement of individual operating systems, backup and restore operating systems, and even disk checking and recovery features. Heck, it's more of an OS administration tool. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it, and then use it to boot into several operating systems, all from one SSD or USB stick. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks, so subscribe and hit the notification button. Ok guys, let's take a quick look at the options you get with PinOS. So along the top we can see we've got various tabs, labelled with various categories. And as you can see under each tab we've got various operating systems which correspond to those categories. So under the general tab we've got Raspberry Pi OS, the 32-bit version, and we've got Android in the form of Lineage, version 16 and 17. We've got Twister OS, one of my favourites, Ubuntu, and under the media tab we've got Liberlec, which is going to be your Kodi build. And we've got Lineage OS, the TV build, which is Android TV, which is pretty cool. Now I have already done an install and review video on this Android TV build, so check it out in my playlist. Now moving along to the minimum tab, we've got our minimal builds here. In other words, more smaller file sizes, giving us our no frills systems, as in the Raspberry Pi OS Lite, which has no desktop environment. Next, we've got our Utilities tab. This is where you can add or partition your SD card as you wish, but it's all automatically done anyway. OK, moving along to the Games tab, we've got all our favourites. We've got Larka, Botasura, and we've got RetroPie. Again, I've done videos on all these systems, just take a look at my playlist in the description below. And lastly, we've got our Testing tab with Testing Systems. So, as you can see, there's plenty of systems to choose from here. And as long as your hard drive is big enough, you can install all of these, and then choose to boot up any of these systems from one hard drive. You can install PinOS straight from your Raspberry Pi running PiOS. So currently I've got PiOS running from the SD card on the Raspberry Pi. Now I'm going to install PinOS on an external drive, and I'm going to plug it in now. As soon as you plug it in, you're going to get this message pop up. Just cancel this. So first of all, we're going to need to format this drive, and to do this, I'm going to use PiImager. Click on Choose, scroll down and select Arrays, and then click on Choose SD Card, and select your hard disk or USB drive. And finally, just click on Write, and click Yes to confirm. And once it's done, you'll get the following message. Click Continue and close the program. So the next thing we need to do is download PinOS. So open up a web browser, and type in Pin Download, and press Return. And select Pin Download Sourceforge.net. And from here, we just click on Download, the big green button, and it should eventually start downloading the zip file. And as you can see, it started downloading. And it shouldn't take too long, as it's only 50 meg. Now, once it's complete, I'm just going to click on Show in Folder. OK, I'm going to close down some of these windows and make it a bit clearer. Now, we're going to unzip this file here. OK, now we can delete the original zip file, as we don't need it anymore. And now we're going to copy all these extracted files to our external hard disk. So I'm highlighting all the files. Now I just need to find my external hard disk in the side panel here. And you can see it's just at the top here, so I just drag and drop. Now that shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Now once that's done, we're going to shut down the Raspberry Pi, and take out the SD card with the Pi OS system on it, but leave your hard disk plugged in with the PinOS system on it, so when it does next boot up, it will boot up into PinOS. Now on reboot, you'll get the following screen, just be patient, and you should come up with a final PinOS flash screen. Now the first message you're going to get is network required. But I can close this as I'm using a wired connection. OK, this is the main window where you choose the operating systems you're going to put on your external hard drive. Now I think I'm going to choose my favourite operating system, which is Twister OS. Now on the bottom it lets you know how much space you've got left on your hard drive. And this space will decrease as you add more operating systems. OK, as you just saw, I added LibreOLEC, which can run my media centre. And also I think I'm going to add RetroPie for my gaming needs. OK, the only thing that remains to be done is click on the install button on the top left hand corner. Now this will install all the operating systems that I've chosen. Our window will pop up, just click yes to confirm, and we're off. Now install time varies depending on a few factors, including how many operating systems you've chosen, the speed of your media drive, but while it's installing, you do get some entertainment by means of post of what you're installing. 
Now once it's finished, you'll get the following message. Just click on the OK and it will reboot. Now it will boot back automatically into PinOS. And you can see here that it's confirmed that Twister OS is installed. And if we click on the main menu here and scroll across to maintenance, we can see in fact that there are three installations. And that's RetroPy, Twister OS and LibreOLEC. And if we click on the config.txt button, we can edit each config.txt file for each of the operating systems individually. Now there's some interesting and useful things we can do in the maintenance menu. For one, we can click on the info button and we get information about the operating system. And by clicking on the alias button, we can give the operating system an alias. And let's say we're having some issues with the installation. If we highlight it and then click on the fix it button, you get the option to repair the OS. So we can do a file system check, rerun partition and show debug log. Now if things go really wrong, you can choose to reinstall the operating system. You can also replace individual operating systems with another operating system. Now if we scroll across to the main menu again and click on the exit button, we can choose which operating system we boot into when we restart. Now I'm going to click on Twister OS and then click on the boot button. The Pi 4 will now reboot into Twister OS. And as you can see, we've booted nicely into Twister OS, one of my favorite operating systems on the Raspberry Pi 4. It works flawlessly. It borrows the best of both worlds from Windows and the Mac operating systems. You've got your app drawer here, just like the Mac OS system. And of course, you've got your menu bar, just like Apple at the bottom of the screen. And of course, just like Windows, there's your normal menu system at the top. And it comes pre-installed with a shed load of apps. Basically anything you'll ever need on the Raspberry Pi 4. And the Chrome browser comes pre-installed for all your media needs. Now I've done a couple of videos on Twister OS and installing it on your Pi 4. Just take a look in my playlist. Okay, we're going to shut down and reboot and we're going to go back into PinOS to reboot into another operating system. Now, after this rainbow screen disappears, you'll need to keep on pressing on the shift key until you get into the menu. Now, to boot into another system that you've already installed, you need to press on the exit key at the top. That'll take you to your OS boot screen and from here you can choose the operating system you're going to boot into. Now, do choose your operating system quickly here as it's counting down. And if you don't choose an operating system to boot into, it'll just load the previous operating system. So I'm going to select LibreOLEC now for my media needs. And then press on the boot button and it'll reboot automatically. Okay, so that's booted in nicely into version 18.9 LIA. Click on next and it's just a basic install. So you need to add all your add-ons and libraries. Now if you do want to know how to set up LibreOLEC, I have done a video on it and it's in my playlist on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now again, we're going to shut down and boot back into PinOS. Okay guys, so we are back into PinOS and from here we can choose our operating system again or we can modify any of the settings on our operating systems. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.